Hello, my beloved friends. Today I am so glad to share you with my recent trip to visit the grassland in Kampong uh, Thom Province, the central part of uh, Cambodia. And this is my uh, first trip to see my life here of the grass elk that I've been trying for more than 10 years and uh, I never seen it. So you can see our team, we are going along with uh, uh, many people that have not seen the grass owl before. We can call it uh, old Australasian uh, grass owls. And the area is totally the agricultural land. And see the mountain around. And you know, somehow there's a tall grass like around this place where the grass owl is laid. So, as you know, that this species is so very similar to uh, the common barn owl that you normally uh, see them all the time at night. So, as this one, it is also the nocturnal bird species. But uh, they choose this area to stay, and I got a chance because the local people found them and then they let us know so that's why we and my colleagues friends we spending time driving you know from my city which is around uh, I would say three to four hours from my town because uh, the road is not really easy you will see at the, uh, the end of uh, the video when uh, our vehicle going back slowly along uh, uh, the, the dirt road <laughs> like right here so we spent not very long and not that you know we spent a little bit of time uh, looking for a place where we're gonna have our lunch and uh, we actually had breakfast but I did uh, do the video so this is another rice field which is not very far from uh, that area that our friends took us to another spot that he saw the rare birds they are the critically endangered species and those are the white shouldered ibis so this uh, white shouldered ibis here you can see I think there are around 8 of them that uh, they entirely spend most of their time feeding together in the rice field and they uh, you know they breed and they nesting you see the background over there where's the eucalyptus plantation which is very good for them you know to stay peacefully without a disturbance as the eucalyptus tree over there belongs to you know I would say private company this is really good. We didn't expect to uh, see uh, the birds, but uh, because of a friend who worked around here, and then they normally follow the birds all the time. So, the white shouldered ibis, known as the, uh, the, the critically endangered, and it's quite rare. And I think the population in the world probably around four to five hundred birds. That, that, that live in the wild so the reason I think the habitat lost and the human uh, disturbance made the uh, species become so rare thank you very much so we are going back and then on the way back it's not very funny <laughs> a lot of rain as you can see rain 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 all the time thank you very much my friend and I hope that you like this video and we're gonna share you in the next video. Thank you very much.